Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashmi Hongos. And really quick, I wanted to do a comparison between the Axion Simo and this free world a monitor. And right off the bat, I'm just going to give you my conclusion. The Simo right here, this is absolutely for content creators for a buttload of reasons. The Fuel World or really any monitor like the Ninja Atmos really is for the professional. The build quality on both of these is pretty subpar. Like you're not gonna get anything that's amazing, but the Fuel World does feel like way, way better in the tactility of the buttons, if that's even a word. These feel nice and just very strong. The Axion is actually very, very cheap and its build quality, especially for the price. Uh, I just think it could have been built way, way better. What's interesting about the Axion is that it uses your phone screen, the iPhone, and that just makes it way more natural with the controls. Like I'm so much more used to touching the buttons on my phone than I am on this touchscreen right here. And the touchscreen on the feel world isn't as good, unfortunately. The brightness, compared to my phone, the 14, which is really bright, even this in the sunniest of day, just does not compare. The touchscreen on this, it's kind of a little bit laggy. And there are also a bunch of inputs on the feel world. One that's really, really nice is that it gives you the HDMI out and HDMI in. And I think this is way more helpful if you are on a set or you want to connect this to a bigger monitor. It just looks way more professional. And if you were to walk onto a set and you have this thing connected to a screen, I just I just think you're gonna like, they're gonna be like, do we hire the right person, right? So they both run off the same batteries, which is really, really nice, the Sony ones. In terms of the battery quality, it just depends on the battery size. But you are gonna have to carry more cables with the Axion, you're gonna have to carry two cables instead of one. Unfortunately, this isn't even a problem with the gadgets themselves or the cable. It has to do more with the camera itself, depending if you have full HDMI out, like the big one. I have mini HDMI on the R5, which I didn't realize how big of a problem that was, but it does wobble quite a bit. So you will lose your connection. The feel world connects just a lot faster than the SEMO. I'm just gonna call it SEMO from now on. And I think that is like the difference between a headache and a migraine. <laughs> so uh, in, that, in that place, I think that a regular monitor just does really, really well. In terms of you're gonna carry this and your phone and your camera, the SEMO is really great because you already have your phone with you at all times. And it just feels very, very natural to just add an adapter to it. This is an extra bundle of joy that you're gonna have to carry. And if I was traveling somewhere, I personally just would not bring this because it's another thing to worry about. Uh, if you get even more expensive monitors, it's just not a fun thing to worry about. And you're always gonna hold onto your phone for dear life. Now, where I think SEMO kind of falls apart is, and I think this is very important for a lot of people that do high end stuff, is the recording quality. It only goes up to 1080 at 60 FPS. And if you have a camera that can shoot 120, to me that was actually pretty bothersome. Like what, am I actually looking at what I'm looking at? Uh, and that's where the like legitimate monitors really come in. Cause you wanna know what you're seeing before you bring it into post. On the, you know, zebras, scopes, et cetera, et cetera. They both do like a pretty good job a weird problem, and I hope this can be fixed with a software update, is that the Axion, for some reason, uh, it always like overexposes. I will be correctly exposed, but if I look at the internal LCD, I will be like overexposed, if that makes sense. I'll show the example. But that never happened with uh, the other external monitors. So the Axion does run into a major caveat which is, it's a piece of software. Software breaks all the time and it also has bugs. On the field world and some, some monitors do have software updates, but I trust more a company that is solely dedicated to monitors 
for their software not to break it, not to give me trouble, not to give me any weird things while on set as opposed to a software company with a product like this. I think the app has crashed maybe once or twice on me. And thank God it wasn't like a, a massive file. And I think these are way more reliable in the fail safe department, especially if you have like an SSD in the back that just really, really important to have if someone is paying you to shoot a video, right? Like the feel world and other monitors really don't compete in my I really like the CMO is the live feature. You probably noticed that I went live a few times as of recording this video. I really, really love that live feature. I, I really don't understand OBS all that much. It looks kind of complicated, but this made it so freaking easy and made it look really, really good. Like the latency was very minimal. Um, they make it very simple. They already have all the presets set. I really like that it shows it on my phone screen and it looks really great. This is also an important um, consideration when you're getting the Axion. I don't have two phones. I need two chains. If you do want to use this, it will drain your phone's battery and it just, it doesn't backwards charge, right? Like it does, it's not charging, the battery is not charging the phone simultaneously. If you're outside, you're not gonna sacrifice your phone to record, right? An important habit to note though, when you're using your phone as a monitor, if you have like the aperture lights like I do, you have to calibrate everything beforehand because it does get pretty annoying to take your phone off and you already set it and then put it back on and then like it moves the camera a little and then you gotta refiddle. But going back to the original conclusion, a monitor like this, like any monitor that is solely dedicated to be a monitor and it's not your phone, Definitely, if you're a professional getting paid, go with this. If you're a content creator, quote unquote, <laughs> then this is for you. I just like it because I want to have less things. Those are my thoughts and my opinions. For those that are new to this channel, my name's Isaac. I help creative individuals try to find their creative ways through technology, books, and creative processes uh, to get the results that they want. So if you are interested in that, make sure to check out the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Atsuki Hongos, and I'll catch you in the next one.